Hello my small fat adaptive family and welcome back to Is It Worth It? This series where I get keto friendly foods or gadgets and I review them from the point of view of someone that has been in ketosis for over six years. Today we are looking at Quest's chocolate chip cookie. In terms of ingredients you are looking at a protein blend of milk protein isolate and whey protein isolate, butter, soluble corn fiber, erythritol, chocolate that is sweetened with erythritol and sucralose, palm oil, calcium caseinate, which is a milk protein that's either used as a nutritional supplement or an additive, natural flavors, water, and cocoa butter. It also includes less than 2% of sunflower lecithin, sea salt, baking soda, sodium caseinate, which again is a milk protein that's either used as a nutritional supplement or an additive, xanthan gum, stevia and peanuts and in terms of macronutrients each cookie is 218 calories 13 grams of protein 15 grams of total carbs but the net carbs is two because it is seven grams of dietary fiber and five grams of polyols or sugar alcohols as always i will talk about the ingredients and the macronutrients in the pros and cons but first let's actually have a look at the cookie it was nothing like the photo on the packet. From the photo, I was expecting a crunchy cookie with a lot more texture, but it was actually very, very soft, chewy almost. The initial flavor I got was this strong vanilla that was followed by a chocolate taste that was actually quite sweet. The cookie itself had a proteiny taste to it. I find with a lot of high protein commercially made snacks, they have this sort of very specific protein taste to them which actually leads us straight into the pros and the cons starting with the pros the first pro is the taste unlike other keto branded cookies these aren't artificially sweet tasting they're not too sweet in general the vanilla is strong but it tastes really good and the chocolate is sweetened with erythritol and sucralose so it's not bitter I actually found it to be the sweetest part of the cookie. The next pro is the texture. It's so nice to have a different cookie texture on keto rather than one that's either crunchy or crumbly. This slightly chewy, really soft cookie reminded me so much of Subway cookies. Another pro is the sweeteners being used. A lot of commercial foods claim to be low carb, but they use sweeteners that are known to raise your blood sugars and potentially kick you out of ketosis. However, Quest's chocolate chip cookies use erythritol, which has a glycemic index between one and three, sucralose, which has a glycemic index of zero, depending on how pure it is, and stevia, which has a glycemic index of zero. So all three sweeteners being used are very low glycemic index sweeteners, and therefore they shouldn't raise your blood sugars or kick you out of ketosis. Then another pro is the availability. Quest is an American company, but they do sell in the UK and some other countries, including Europe. So these cookies are quite easy to access on Amazon USA, Amazon UK, other online health stores, some supermarkets, especially in America, sell them. And they're even sold in physical health stores like over here, you can get them from Holland and Barrett's. And the last pro doesn't apply to everyone, but I know that there's quite a few of you that watch my channel that have a gluten intolerance. Well, these cookies are gluten free, so you can absolutely have them. So now we move over to the pros slash cons, and these ones can kind of be either or depending on who you are. Let's start with the ingredients because there is quite a bit to talk about here. Firstly, there are quite a lot of ingredients in this cookie. This is definitely what would be considered a dirty keto product, and it's the kind of thing that you shouldn't be eating often just for good health. Then there's the fact that these cookies use soluble corn fiber. Whilst corn fiber is technically keto friendly because it is a dietary fiber, the soluble corn fiber that they're using is very likely genetically modified. Quest is an American company and 92% of America's corn is genetically modified. We don't really know what this means long term in terms of health because there are arguments for and against genetically modified food and our well-being but we do know that there are much better more natural choices of fiber 
that have been shown to be good for our bodies, such as broccoli and cauliflower. Then the last thing that's worth knowing about the ingredients is that the ingredients seem to vary depending on where you live. This is very likely just because of different regulations in different places of the world, like Europe has different food regulations to America. So it is worth just double checking the ingredients if you are looking to buy these in your country, just in case they're slightly different and there's something you don't want to consume in there. Then we move on to the macros. The protein could be a little bit too high for you if you're not doing a high protein keto diet like I am, otherwise the macros seem absolutely fine. However, like I said about the ingredients, there seems to be discrepancies in the macronutrients depending on where you buy them. It seems that in the US, the macronutrients overall is ever so slightly higher, but I did notice the packaging for the same type of cookie was different too. I have tried to sort of research all the differences, but it, it seems quite complicated because even UK sellers have slight discrepancies in their ingredients and macros listed on the website. Your best bet is to probably actually look at what Quest says on their website and go by those ingredients and macronutrients. And lastly, we move on to the cons. The only real hard con I could find for this product is the price. So each cookie costs about £2.50 if you're in England or $2 if you're in America. And that is a pretty high price tag for a 60 gram cookie. So, Quest's chocolate chip protein cookie. Is it worth it? Out of all of the keto friendly cookies I've tried, this is by far the best. If it had M&Ms in it, it would be my favorite Subway cookie. It's soft, a little bit chewy, not crumbly at all. It's not too sweet and there's no overpowering flavor in it, but it does have a lot of ingredients and it is expensive. I would highly recommend trying one of these cookies, but I would make it a treat, a one-off here and there, not a regular occurrence. But with that being said, that is all for this video. Leave a like if you found it interesting, insightful or helpful. Subscribe for more keto content. Any questions, any comments, any queries, anything you would like me to review, please leave it in the comments down below. Keep calm, keto on. Thanks for watching.